Good morning, chairpersons and dear parliamentarians. And it is, uh, I'm the representative from committee representing Union Parliament, CRPH, Myanmar. It is my honor to take part in this assembly and I acknowledge the IBU's good offices. In today's war, armed conflicts are increasing in severity, including my country, Myanmar. These conflicts cause damage to regional and global economy, security, peace, and predominantly harm civilians physically in every area of their lives. The advance of such conflicts demonstrates failure by the state and non-state actors to respect international laws and obligations. The length and intensity of and the inability to stop or lessen armed conflicts as early as possible means that the challenges to peace, human rights, and development increase exponentially. Diplomacy wards are important, but can be enhanced by collective, collectively and timely interventions. The question for the global parliamentary family is, how can we parliamentarians help resolve this problem happening in our world? What more can we do to improve peace, to reduce crisis, and to help our people I look forward to exploring this question during this assembly. But I do know that the parliamentarians engage in diplomacy every day, but we still need to promote our contribution in diplomacy. Like many people from conflict-affected countries, the people of Myanmar ask for your help to reduce the pain being perpetrated upon them by the brutal military hunger in Myanmar. The needs are to support their efforts in ending the illegal military rule in Myanmar and in building a peaceful society which respects international human rights and law. They are resolute in the advance of their agreed political goals of civilian government and a federal democratic state. The IBU has given exceptional support, standing shoulder to shoulder with the parliamentarians. Since the military coup in 2021, 2.7 million people have been forced to displace by the military hunters onslaught of air and artillery strikes, executions and killings, rapes, torture, arbitrary detentions, and forced disappearances and persecution. At the present, nearly 19 million people are now in need of humanitarian assistance. That includes 6 million children. The military Honda recent announcement to uplift the conscription law Forced recruitment of young people by military accelerated displacement, house to house intimidation, corruption, and fear with the number fleeing growing exponentially. We, the parliamentarians, are working hand in hand with the country's stakeholders to find a solution to the current political situation using our parliamentary mandates and exercising parliamentary diplomacy. The disintegrating military honda has lost several territories and troops by the nationwide anti-coup resistance. The democratic forces, including the elected lawmakers, are securing our common goals to lay the groundwork to create a peaceful society for all Myanmar people. I'm confident that this 148 IBU will strengthen our already strong relationship and find a path towards strengthened parliamentary diplomacy 
that inspires us to continue our work to achieve a peaceful, prosperous, and federal democratic Myanmar. I thank you. Thank you very much.